Hey guys, what's up? For this video, I will show you guys how I repainted and restyled Michelle Mermaid from Ever After High. So for Michelle, I was actually really disappointed that they came out with such a hot pink and purple combination when her webisode um, hair color was really pink. So for her custom, I'm actually going to try new things. I'm going to try and highlight her face using um, human makeup. So I'm going to be using Jeffree Star later. So I'll show you guys that um, after I repaint her face. But first, I'm going to go ahead and take off her face using acetone or nail polish remover. So I just sprayed her face with MSC or Mr. Super Clear. And after that, let's go ahead and make her new face. So I'm not really finished with her face yet and as you can see I added more blue to her eyes. I felt like, you know, with the pink eyebrows, with purple eyeshadow and then her hair is pink. Everything is just all pink and like purple. So I decided to change her up, decided to give her pink and blue eyes and it looks really cool. I want to add highlight on her like I said and I'm going to be using actual human makeup. Over here, I had to use my Jeffree Star highlighter because the formula is a little more buttery. So as you can see, she is highlighted, so she looks very dewy. Um, I hope that even if after I sprayed with MSC, it's still there. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it again. So I just sprayed her face twice with MSC, and it's actually not bad. It's still there. I mean, it's a lot weaker than you know, first applying it, but it's still there. Cheeks though, look at that. Let's go ahead and continue our repaint. So I just finished with Michelle's face and I really, really love her expression and the overall look. So as you can see, her eyes are two different colors. There is red, pink, and blue there. Just a, just a hint, um, just so that, you know, it doesn't really all match up together. And you can see her highlight over here. It's so on point. So she looks really wet. <laughs> um, I think that's my favorite part is her eyes and also the highlight. So her hair is curling right now. And let's go ahead and work on her outfit and accessories. For her dress, I love the fact that it's mermaid. And I actually do like the scaly detailing. I just find I just find that the top is so oddly 
red orange so I will be repainting that and also I want to make the back of this very dramatic I'm actually going to extend the fish tail look so that it's gonna be more of a train and for that, I found two fabrics from Walmart that kind of matches really well. So I found this um, very like mermaidy fabric. Um, you can't really see the color of it, but it's very nice. It's extremely sheer, so it's like very buildable at the same time. And also this tulle fabric in similar color of her, um, you know, like the fish net over here. So I just finished with um, adding, you know, fabric to her tail. The next thing I'm going to do is paint this with pink. So I just tried on the dress on Michelle and I really like how it looks. As you guys can see, I feel like the pink, pearly color matches the overall aesthetic more than the orange. Um, if you want more information on how to curl her hair, I would check out Denisa Medrano and also Jay Lantis here on YouTube. They are literally like hair gods and they are awesome. The next, we're going to go ahead and repaint the accessories, shoes, and all of that. shoes I'm actually just going to paint repaint it a little bit only like the details I do want to keep her shoes um, pearly white for the most part So for her headband, I kind of want to change it up. Do you guys remember my Gulliam Mermaid Rescued doll? I made a headpiece over there, this one, and I still have it. I kind of want to glue it here. I don't know, I just feel like this is so plain, and yeah, I might just do this then. So I have everything and I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown. So like I said, this is the main accessory for her torso. I went with a lighter color scheme, more of a pastel vibe. For her bag, it's kind of cool too. Very pastel-y. I changed the handle, I completely repainted the entire bag. I love, love, love her shoes. Her bracelet is like, you know, I kept it gold to match her arm brace, but it's actually a mermaid if you guys didn't notice. This girl is actually a mermaid over there. Very nice. And then, like I said, I have her headdress over here that I kind of repurposed from my mermaid doll. So um, let's go ahead and accessorize her and put everything back in order. So as you guys can see over here, I kind of finished styling her hair. I gave her finger waves and I actually didn't notice that I styled her looking like her actual concept art with this like side swept um, area over here and also like this. I don't know, it wasn't intended but it works out. Um, but at the same time, I actually added these like beads over here. I kind of want to represent it as pearls or you know, something like that. I'm gonna add it towards the entire hair, actually. And I got these, um, I got these beads from Walmart, I believe, and they're pretty tiny. If you can actually find pearl-like 
um, beads, that's even better. But for this one, I'm just going to use these because it actually works. And I'm just going to glue it. 